Hi, my name is Greg Brazier. I'm here at Floyd's RVs today. I wanted to talk to you about the Nautica 34RX. It's a brand new uh, line for Holiday Rambler uh, featuring the Delta Foundation. Now, now what that is, is uh, they take a Freightliner chassis. Uh, it's actually a raised rail system, okay? And they build the Delta Foundation. So, this year we actually got the suicide doors that will open up both ways, really maximizing storage up underneath. This is your actual raised rail. Uh, so in this segment, you're not going to find a raised rail in an entry-level uh, diesel pusher uh, that's going to maximize storage like this, as well as have the aqua hot system. Uh, in, in Fleetwood, you have a pace arrow in the same segment. Again, not featuring that raised rail. Uh, not, not getting the aqua hot system in, say, like a Thor Palazzo. So it's really one of a kind, very unique. And it's featuring that Delta Foundation really maximizing uh, your, your storage up underneath. They actually line the inside of it, okay? So it's, it's motion activated on the light. When you open it up, lights will come on. Um, but this, this porous white uh, feature right here, basically, you can spray it out. There's a heat register on the inside. It'll dry out, basically maximizing storage, okay? This is actually going to be for, for your fuel fill up. It's dual on both sides. So if you do pull it somewhere, you need to get gas. You're able to do so from either side of the unit. Uh, complete with the outside TV. That's obviously going to be important in case you're out here with the family. Uh, entertain guests. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what we got going on in here. So this is your sine wave, wave converter, right? As power comes in, it's going to be like this, right? What this is designed to do is to level that, that power out. So you're not frying stuff. You're getting smooth power on the way in. Uh, there is a, a disconnect right here. This is important in case you're storing your coach. So you want to always turn that off uh, if you're ever, ever leaving it somewhere so that it's not pulling power. Your, your fridge on the inside is going to be a residential fridge. So you don't want this guy uh, being on when you, when you leave it because it will pull power from the house batteries and your coach won't fire, right? Um, this is going to be your battery control center as power comes into the coach. What that's going to do is basically just determine where you need power. Uh, be that on the chassis side or on the house side, and it'll, it'll send power where it needs to go. Um, let's go back over here real quick. Um, incredible paint job on the outside. It is gel coated. Again, you're dealing with the Freightliner chassis. Let's talk a little bit about it. So it's, it's an XCR chassis. Uh, so basically, that's, that stands for the raised rail. It's not a modular chassis like you'll find on your endeavors where they take out that center joint and jump on a Titan bridge. Again, the Delta Foundation maximizing storage underneath. Uh, but it's 340 horsepower, 700 foot-pounds of torque. So definitely going to get the job done. It's got a 10,000 pound uh, rated hitch on the back. Uh, again, it's designed to you know, maximize towability, uh, you know, get, get the job done with lots of space. Uh, let's look over here real quick. So it's going to have four six-volt uh, chassis batteries. Again, this is what, or house batteries, this is what runs the coach, okay? Uh, so you're going to have both house batteries as well as chassis batteries. You're taking two different elements. On the Holiday Rambler side, that's going to be your coach. Uh, so that's the box, right? Everything, that, the magic that happens up top. Underneath this is your Freightliner chassis. And we have batteries for that as well. That's going to be a list of them. So these are your, your, your chassis batteries. This is what makes the engine turn and fire on. Uh, again, it's, as your generator runs, it will recharge these batteries. Uh, but again, you got, you got chassis batteries for the Freightliner side house batteries on, on the Holiday Rambler side. There is a, a power reel cord. So this guy here basically as you plug up 50 amp service, you want to reel it in, you basically just hold the button, it's automated, it does it all for you. That way you're not getting dirty. I'm wearing you know wider pants today. Uh, I don't want to get that that super dirty. So this helps you know get the reel back in there. You don't have to lug it around, plug it up. Um, this is actually your death tank, okay? So on, on your death fluid, it's about 2% consumption, okay? So what that means is for 50 full tanks of, of, of diesel, you, you'll use only one tank of DEF. A lot of people are like, I don't know about DEF. You know, how much am I going to have to fill it up? Again, 50 full tanks for one tank of DEF. So it's definitely going to get the job done, help help keep the environment healthy, all that, right? And here you got your flow pure water filtration system. This is throughout the entire coach. Um, so it's going to make sure that your drinking water is good to go. Uh, all your, your city connections, your drains, all in a nice little compartment here. They even went as far as to include the, the, the paper towel dispenser here. So you're going to have everything you need, one-stop shop, low point drain over here, even a little spray port. Right now the unit's winterized, so we don't want to get too much into there. Uh, but everything's in a nice, you know, one cubby. Uh, there's even a water pump, winterization, little switch here. Bypass the water pump if you need that to uh, winterize the unit. 
Same kind of thing on this side, right, as on the other side. Again, that suicide handle, basically reach on the inside, pull it open. There's, there's no other coach that has this right now. Huge storage underneath, that's the ladder that will mount on the back. Um, but again, maximizing storage in the basement underneath. It is heated, there's going to be heat reservoirs uh, that will dry it out in case you do need to, to, to rinse it out. Uh, in here, this is probably the biggest thing when compared to any other coach. Again, raised rail system, none of the competitors are going to have it on that entry level diesel. If they do, they're not going to have the other element, which is your aqua hot system, okay? Now, what this is, is it's basically uh, a, your, your instantaneous hot water. There's going to be a diesel burner as well as a, an electric burner on the inside. It has pink fluid in there. Don't think antifreeze when, when we're talking about this fluid. This fluid gets really, really hot, right? Uh, again, when you, when you fire on the coach, as soon as you turn it on, that electric burner kicks on. By default, default it's going to be an electric burner. Uh, but there's there's coils that cycle through this, this this tank, basically, right? Water goes through there, it heats up the water, gives you instantaneous hot water. There's no propane whatsoever on this coach, okay? Uh, benefits there. Instantaneous hot water. Your coach is going to hold value a lot better. This, this aqua hot system on a book out alone is $30,000 as far as, you know, an, an option or a feature. That's going to help your coach hold value. It's going to, you know, you don't have to continually get propane to fill up your rig. Huge, huge feature. Additionally, it's going to cycle that fluid through different heat exchanges basically within your coach. Uh, so, so think copper tubing. In front of two fans, it's going to blow, uh, blow onto those, that copper tubing. You're going to get a heat um, coming off that basically from that hot fluid and the fan blowing on it. It's not going to be that dry. Uh, heat that you get from propane so no more waking up you know with your nose super dry sinuses bothering you this is a massive massive feature and and compared to other uh coaches that, that don't have this a lot of them are are, are just not as as good at, at holding value giving you that instantaneous hot water and also the house will have to continually you know fill up propane uh, again dual fuel fillips on both sides so both on this side as well as the other side it's all designed to help make it easier to get you in, get you out and back on the other road. This is pretty cut and dry. Uh, obviously you're going to have your, your windshield fluid here, fluid here. What's important though if you want to come over here real quick is this guy up here. Okay, so, so because you are running on airbags on this guy, you do have air system and air brake. Uh, you actually have a way that you can tie into this. Let's say you got floaties. You guys are going to the, the ocean. You guys want to fill up your floaties. Basically, you can tie in here, raw air from it, fill up your floaties. Uh, or even if you get a flat, you want to you put air into the tire. You can tie in right here, fill up air into the tire, you know, whatever it needs to, again, get you back on the road or out in the water. But most of your are lasting on, on the, the lot for about 30 days, and then they're selling. Um, there's four different floor plans. There's a 33-footer, a 34-footer, two 35-footers. This is actually the 34 RX. Obviously, electric uh, steps going to come out whenever you open up the door. When you, when you first come in, I want to show you this down here. This is important. This is your battery disconnect. If, if the coach was storing, we would hit off and off. Basically, keep your coach from draining batteries from both the house. You got your, your house side as well as your, your chassis side. When you come in the coach, you just click on, on, lights come on. All Touch buttons, basically, for all of your lights. So if, if, if I click this, lights will go off, lights will come on, right? If it's blue, it's on. Same kind of thing here with your all lights. If I click all lights, all the lights will kill, kill off, right? Turn it back on, all the lights come on. Let me show you this, though. Let's say I just got these two on, right? And I kill all the lights, right? When I come back on and I turn the lights back on, you notice how it only turned on the lights that are important, the lights that you had on. So that's another little thing about making it easier lights on that are important, the lights that you're using, that sort of thing. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the engine so I can talk about the uh, digital dash here in a second. Let's go ahead and into the coach, okay? Uh, when you look around, it's beautiful, right? It's absolutely incredible. It's featuring the, the fossil white ocean front collection. Again, this is a brand new uh, color for, for their interior wood. Something, again, that they just came out with for 2021. People are loving it. It's incredible. Um, let me show you this real quick. So, on your TV, so let's say you're over here in, in the lounge, right? You want to watch TV. Well, you've got your nice little televator over here. TV pops up. Driving down the road, you can watch TV. And if you notice, what it's showing you right now is actually the rear view camera. Okay, this is an important feature. I'm talking about this simply because it's actually a security feature. So let's say you're inside your coach, right? And you've got all your blinds pulled down. It's late at night. You've got the blackout shades going on. And you hear somebody outside your unit. 
obviously you don't want to get out there in the world of times that we're living in. People are crazy, right? This allows you, from a touch of a button, to cycle through your cameras, right? So basically just, there's one camera, there's another camera, there's another camera, and you can see exactly what's going on around your unit. That's designed to keep you safe. The same type of feature is actually featured back here with the bed. So uh, you got a king bed on an articulating slide. So there's actually a, a remote control for this guy. Uh, it'll, it'll raise up, it has to be up to get the slide to come in. Family safe and, and giving you peace of mind, okay? Uh, another thing here, we got a stackable washer and dryer. This is, you know, high um, energy efficient. Uh, Whirlpool, both, both washer and dryer, stackable. Uh, you can get all your clothes that you day out at the beach, you got dirty, you want to wash your clothes, no problem. Wash it and then put it up. Got lots of drawers down here too. Amazing woodwork. Um, built all in factory up in Indiana. Store everything you need to. Plus, look at the backsplash on the glass. I mean, the simple little touches to detail. They've done an incredible job making it all tie together really, really well. Um, lighted on the inside as well. Adjustable shelves so you, you get a maximized storage. Configure it how you want. Um, all, all features that Holiday Rambo did just to make it easier and nicer for you, okay? Uh, on, the, on the storage at the back, this is the, the, the ladder that will go to the drop-down queen bed up at the front. Um, it won't operate while, while the engine's turned on. I might still show you here in a second how that works, but it's a Euro loft. Um, so this is basically storage at the back. you got a, a bar across the top, maximized storage. Um, and then again, over here on this side, you've actually got a generator kill switch as well as a, a start uh, on the side of the bed, okay? Um, another thing, let me show you this in here. So not only is there storage all the way across the top, but a lot of people have CPAP machines. You notice how the light kicked on when I opened up the, the shelving? There's actually, and I can show you, by putting my finger through back here, there's a hole back here. What this is designed to do is, let's say you got a CPAP machine. Uh, and, you, and you don't want to put it on the end table, you don't want it to fall off. There's a plug right inside here, you can put a CPAP machine in, run the hose down through it, hook up, sleep soundly, never have to worry about your CPAP machine falling over, getting on the ground, you know, losing oxygen while you're sleeping. Again, it's an incredible feature, all designed to make it more comfortable and, and better for you. Um, let's go this way. We're going to talk about the Whirlpool fridge. Residential fridges all, again, run off uh, an inverter giving you power, you know, to, to power your fridge, lots of space here, fridge on top, freezer on bottom. I mean, this is about as big as a fridge in my home. Uh, so, lots of options. Again, you can move the, the door uh, slots where you want them. Uh, you got a high point convection microwave, okay? Again, there's no uh, propane on this rig, so we don't have an oven, right? So, the convection microwave basically gives you the opportunity to use it like an oven. That's what that metal tray is in there for. So, you can cook chicken, you know, whatever you need, pizzas, whatever you need to do there. Uh, an insignia induction uh, stovetop. Again, no gas. What this allows you to do is basically cook. You got your frying pan, you're cooking your eggs, getting it done, right? Farmhouse style sink on your sink in, in, in the coach. Uh, because it is farmhouse design, in case you get water on the edge, you can just kind of brush it on into the inside. Do your dishes, got a residential faucet, stainless steel, very, very nice. Um, you know, again, making it luxury, comfort, nice accent lighting underneath. Even with the MCD nightshades, they even put a little backsplash here. A lot of people I've talked to have put like their spices or stuff in, in this little slot here just to make it easier, nicer, more convenient for you. In the bathroom, come on in here. So this is actually a full walk-in shower. There is an adjustable uh, shelf, or not um, shelf, soap tray, excuse me, if you want to kind of come around, kind of back up real quick. So this does adjust. Um, it, it is detachable, so you get, get all clean after your day out, out at the beach. There's even, let's say you're worn out, man, there's even a spot for people if they want to rest, just kind of sit here and just soak up the water. Loving it, right? Um, porcelain toilet, you can kind of hear it from my ring. Uh, so again, designed for comfort. You got the little spray nozzle in case you need to clean it out, flush out your tanks, that sort of thing. You got a nice little spray there too. Um, and then you even got you know adjustable shelving in here, both on the, the medicine cabinet side as well as the auxiliary storage. You can put lots of stuff in there, adjust the shelves as needed. And again, you've got all of your, come right over here, 
your your vent. Uh, so you got power vents on this guy. If you want to turn it on, lift it up. It's all electric. You can raise up your vents. They do have um, vent covers on there in case you get a hailstorm. You're not having to worry about it. it it jacking up your, your air vent, letting water in, it's got a cover on there. So even if it's raining outside, you can still run your, your vent, um, you know, it suck bad smells out, fresh air, let's say you're cooking, same kind of thing here. You've got a fantastic vent right above the, the oven, so as smoke's rising, you can suck it right out of the coach, okay? Um, this is actually your, your table, right? So a little bit different setup this year. Uh, so this rotates over, drops down, right? You just gotta push it down. Uh, I'm kinda gotta pull this guy up. So push that back. This guy goes down, pull on this one, push these guys down, right? So this goes straight down to give you an added sleeping area. So push this down, it goes to the center. Again, you got another bed, right? Uh, it's supposed to go in the center right here. Kinda bridge that gap, okay? Um, it is what it is. Okay, so again, another sleeping spot here, right in front of the TV. As to the, the recliners, lots of storage in here. You can see you can put all of your, your remote controls down inside here. Goes down pretty deep. This is a big storage area, right? It's maybe your tablets, phones, whatever you want. You want to recline. These are power lounge, okay? So I just hold the button, it's gonna go full extension, and it's comfortable, right? I can sit here all day, just relax. Unfortunately, I got to get back to work, but you get the idea. You're out at the lake, you're with your family, you're comfortable. You and your sweetheart cuddled up, got your cold one in the, in the, the cup holder, whatever it is that suits your fancy, be it soda, be it beer. It's all about comfort, convenience, and luxury at the same time. Uh, let's also talk about all the storage spaces up here. Okay, These are deep cabinets. A lot of people are like, man, you really can't put much in there. But the reality is, they are massive, okay? I can put almost my entire arm up in here. It's, it's above elbow how deep this storage is. This is, you know, blankets, you know, canned goods, whatever you want, and this goes all the way around the top, okay? So you're gonna have lots of storage in this coach. Let's talk about this over here. This right here is, is basically as, as a DVD player is hooked up, you can actually run it to the different TVs. So you can actually cycle, you know, what input, what TV it is. So this is bedroom TV, this is exterior TV, this is supplemental TV. For, so outside TV, bedroom TV, main TV, and the living quarters. You can choose whether it's on DVD, satellite, auxiliary. Uh, basically, this, this allows you to, to play from one DVD player to all of your TVs even if you want. Everybody could watch the same movie at different locations with just one, one DVD player. Uh, it does come with a, a fireplace. This is basically a, a glorified space here, okay? Again, we don't have propane on this way. Uh, you do have the aqua hot system. You are going to have that, that better, more humid heat. Uh, but this is a glorified space heater. It's going to provide ambience. It's going to heat up your coach. You're not going to have any issues there, right? Uh, in, inside here, it's basically more storage. Again, with the accent lighting, they do an incredible job of tying it all together. Holiday Rambo really has their stuff together. You start seeing three, but with the Nautica, with it being in that 33 to, to 35 foot realm, uh, I think the actual length of this coach is 35 foot four inches. It's a 34 RX. You got two ACs, and you can see that the line of, of AC uh, where it's ducted. See, this is a duct. There's one back behind you too, right over here. It all runs down the center of the coach. The design is so that when the slides are in, you still have maximum uh, AC output, basically. There is a dump feature on this guy, so right here, basically, you can, you can slide it open and it'll come straight down, or you can keep it closed and it'll run down the length. There's one at the front as well as at the back. Again, designed it to, to maximize air efficiency to keep you cool. So, this kind of gives you the numbers, kind of breaks it down for you. Uh, some people are visual people, some people are talkers. So this is by the numbers of 2021 Nautica. Your horsepower, again, 340 horsepower. When you jump up to the Endeavor, you go up to 360. When you get into your models, you're like 380 to 450. It just kind of depends on, on what floor plan you're on, uh, with or, or what brand, really. With the, the torque, 700 pound, foot-pounds per torque. Uh, that's with, with all Nauticas. Again, when you jump up into the Endeavors, you go up to about 800. Armadas, again, you're going to jump up to 11, 1150, 1250. Uh, towing capacity, 10,000 pounds is your towing capacity on this guy. You're going to be able to tow whatever you want out there without losing power. 100 gallon fuel, fuel tank, that's a lot of fuel, especially on a diesel. You're going to get a lot of uh, miles on it. They say anywhere from 6 to 12 on diesel. A lot of that depends on if you're on inclines, if you're on flat ground. But that's a lot of, of, of diesel. You're going to get a lot of miles out of that. Um, generator's going to have an own in. It's a quiet diesel. It's a 6,000 
uh, kilowatt. Um, so it, it's going to power the coach, recharge, and replenish those batteries. There is also an auto gen feature. So if your your power gets a little low, uh, you can you can basically program it to fire up to recharge those batteries. Uh, and another great feature. Fresh water holding tank, 105 gallons. So let's say you are boondocking, you got your generator, you got 105 gallons of water, you're gonna get it done. Uh, let's talk about the, the digital dash up here, okay? So, they use what's called a Freightliner chassis, right? So you do have both the telescopic that will come at you, as well as go forward and back. There's a foot pedal down here that basically can control all that, okay? Uh, this is your camera screen, so all the, all your, your cameras you can cycle through by basically pushing mode. There's going to be different features. There's several different, I don't know the exact number, I want to say it's like 13 different settings that so you can actually see uh, any different camera configuration you want. That again is huge. This is your, your control, uh, so your, basically your entertainment console. There's an SD card that you can actually program the dimensions of your coach. It won't take you anywhere you can't go. In fact, there's, this is basically like a tablet. Um, there's different features, audio visual, you can even add your, your phone to it. Let's say you wanted to sync your phone, uh, you can pair your phone, all of that can be handled up here as well. So you're driving down the road, you want to answer a call, boop, push this button, you're going to hear them in the coach, you can talk to them. It's all designed about keeping you safe, uh, you know, functionality, all of it's all done right here. Now, I'm driving down the road, I got to turn right. I'll see it over here automatically, but it'll take over my, my entertainment console too. Same thing with, with left. It'll, it'll take over my, my left camera, takes over the ent entertainment console, lets me see exactly what's on, on, on both sides. I got plenty, I know exactly what's there, as well as with my mirrors. It really is just designed to make it easier for you. Same thing happens with, with reverse. Let me show you this. On, on the digital uh, dash, right, you see right here that says gauges? So I can actually cycle down two gauges, select it, right? And then I can hit down again, select this first gauge, and I can cycle through and choose exactly what gauges are important to me. This is crucial for those that want to know exactly, well, how much of an engine load am I having? How many RPMs am, am I at? You can actually choose which, which different um, gauges you want to show, ones that are most in, important to you. It is truly a customizable dash. Um, over here on this side, you have basically the ability to, to put it into manual or into automatic, right? There is also, see this where it says high right here? This is about an exhaust brake. I can kick it forward, take off the exhaust brake, pull it down, basically have an exhaust brake. So when I let off the gas, it'll slow me down from, from the back. Um, lots of different features on this. Ultimately, you got air ride to, to, to basically engage or disengage the parking brake. I push this forward, I put it in the gear, forwards drive, reverse is towards the back basically. It's all super simple, neutral's in the middle. Uh, so that's if you're doing automatic. If you want manual, basically you just push that in, it'll power over to manual, you can, you can actually set what, what gear you want it in by, by pulling forward or moving back. It's an incredible unit, done an incredible job by, by uh, Freightliner. Let me show you this over here if I can, it's kind of come over my shoulder. So this right here is basically an air dump, right? Because it is, you know, air ride, air suspension, airbags, you want to keep it on auto. That's when your airbags are filling up. In fact, it has to get to a certain PSI before it releases the, the brake basically on your coach. Um, so when you, when you first fire up the coach, you hear that beeping at you. That's basically your airbags filling up to raise the coach up, right? As well as disengage that, that lock. Um, if you want to dump it, just move it over here to to lower and you can kind of hear that audible shh. that's air dumping out of the system we're lowering down let's say we got you know a, a high clearance we need to gain a couple inches try to dump all that air out to get in i wouldn't drive on this you want to keep it on auto but basically it's a way for you to dump air out of your system in case you need to um, beyond that uh, let's talk about the seats okay automatic seats electric you know forward back there's also the ability to, to swivel around, right? A lot of times in coaches, you don't have that ability. Um, it's important for you not to lose that dead space. That's one of the benefits of an A. Uh, class A is that, is that you're able to swivel the chairs around, still be involved in the, the situation, whatever's going on in the living room. Uh, let me show you this right here if you want to come around here real quick. So this is actually for the, the armrest. There's a little swivel right here, right? Let's say you don't want it to go down all the way. So basically, you, you tighten it up, and that's all the way down. So let me go the other way. Um, so, I got a, a set place where I want this guy, right? So it won't go lower than that right there, right? Now if I, if I raise it up and keep, keep rotating it, see how it's kind of going up as I rotate it? 
It won't go lower than that, right? So I get my perfect configuration. This is where I want to be. It's on both sides. I can I can set either side as as you want it. I myself have muscular dystrophy, so you know raising my arms can be an issue. Um, with these these adjustable uh, armrests, basically, I can get it exactly where I want it. Move this where I want it. Pull it out at you if I need to, and basically just just cruise. Get down the road. Go exactly where you need to go in the comfort of. Of, of the features that the Holiday Rambler affords you in comfort, uh, in functionality, basically all of it. Uh, it really is, it's amazing. Uh, let me show you this over here too. Uh, so there is actually a recline on this guy. It's not a power recline. Uh, so let's say your co-pilot over here, you got honey with you. You're driving down the road. She's tired. She wants to relax. She's able actually to, to kick her legs out and even recline. I don't know where is that? Right here. And just kind of chill while you get down the road. In style, convenience, and, and, and obviously in, in, in this type of price point to get the features that you're getting, it's amazing. Uh, most of your, your Holiday Ramblers MSRP on, on the Nautica side, you're gonna be low 300s. Uh, obviously you wanna earn your business. Uh, again, MCD shades both day as well as night. Um, let me also talk about this guy here. This is your mobile eye, okay? So what this is, it's a lane deterrent as well as collision avoidance, okay? Not so in like the beep, 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 you're going out of your lane, wake up, get back in your lane. So it'll alert you if you start to go out and drift out of your lane. Or let's say somebody's kind of coming across the front of you, right? And they're walking across the lane. It's gonna alert you to basically show up right here on this little guy. Uh, that you got something coming up, there's, a, there's something in, in front of you that's coming across. It'll, it'll show up on this guy here. Uh, there's also a front blind. Uh, so as you're driving, it will only go to there. It will not go further, right? As long as the, the engine is on, that's as far as I go, okay? Uh, it's more designed to be like a, a, a sun visor. Now, let's say the engine's off, right? So right now, engine's off. It will go full extension down. But that's a safety feature designed basically to keep you from wrecking, to keep you from going down further than it can. Uh, they want to make it again as comfortable as possible so you're not getting that glare from that, that evening sun as you're driving down the road. Maybe take out the sun, but still allow a field of view for you to get where you need to go, okay? Um, on the, the overhead TV, now that I've killed this, I want to also show you this over here. Over there, this is what's called a Euromock, right? You can see, smooth, quiet, it's dropping down. You got the kiddos with you, you need an added bed space. This is going to get it done. Light pops on. When the hide lock comes down, there's a ladder that we hook in, drop down, climb on up there. Now, this doesn't look like it's going to be a real thick mattress, right? You're probably thinking, man. They actually have inside here a built-in box spring. You can kind of see how it bows. So it's, it's a built-in integrated box spring. That's what it is from about here to here, right? So, so this thin little mattress is still not going to feel like a thin little mattress. It's going to give you the bounce. Basically, it's going to support you, make sure you're not, not uncomfortable. When the, the bed comes down, the TV is accessible, right? As long as the, the engine isn't engaged, right? Bed's not going to move while, while the engine's on. Basically, this is your little little feature right here, this little toggle. This will let the, the light know to kick on. Uh, but while you're, you're driving down the road, this will lock in place. Again, while the engine's on, it's going to kill that TV because it's a federal law that you can't have that TV on while you drive down the road. But as long as you're stationary, again, adjust it how you need it. Recliners, drop down loft, this makes out to a bed, you got the bed at the back. So really we're talking two, you know, I'd, I'd say maybe three here, four, five, six, seven, seven people all day long, right? You even got the recliner up here if you need to, maybe eight. So uh, again, Holiday Rambler Nautica, brand new floor plan. They've done an amazing job with the Fossil Y, with all the features that they offer. We'd love to earn your business. Come out and see us at Floods RVs.